the idea of immense energy to be derived from splitting the atom, after long haunting the imagination of science, now shocks the imagination of mankind. At Cambridge University's Cavendish Laboratories, Pathé Gazette exclusively photographed the giant apparatus where first attempts were made to split the atom. A hundred thousand volts, stepped up to one million volts, are used to bombard the atom and split it into its component protons and neutrons. Scientists from British research centers worked in the United States alongside their American colleagues. After the first bomb was dropped, Mr. Churchill said, by God's mercy, British and American science outpaced all German efforts. How close a race it was, this struggle between two groups of scientists, was revealed by pictures taken of the heavy water hydroelectric plant in Norway. While British and American scientists were racing ahead, Europe was being combed by secret service agents to pinpoint any plants which, by their structural design, suggested atomic bomb factories. Such a one was this, upon which commander raids were launched. Hiroshima and Nagasaki burst into the news when two bombs, the outcome of a 500 million pound project, rocked Nippon. Four square miles vaporized. An equivalent area centered on Tower Bridge, London, is shown here. Last word comes from Sir John Anderson, who supervised British research. If the limitless possibilities of the atomic bomb can be kept for preserving peace and not as a means of waging war more efficiently, the whole world will have gained immeasurably from this stupendous scientific discovery. Nor is this all, for there will still remain great scope for further work to find ways of using atomic energy as a source of heat and power for the benefit of mankind. The first thing will be to see whether the necessary material cannot be produced more cheaply and efficiently. And then means must be found of controlling and applying the energy made available. This may be a long business, but all experience of scientific progress justifies the belief that the time will come when atomic energy will compete for at any rate many important purposes with any source of power already known.